The Game Day Broadcast Network is proud to present Baseball Media Day, hosted by the Ballpark Loudon. Baseball Media Day is brought to you by Capital Closets, a perfect solution for all of your storage needs. By Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. Visit Robin O'Connor and her team the next time you have to get back in the game. And by Finnegan's Grill and Irish Pub, the best sports pub and grill in Ashburn. Hey there, my name is Mike Noyes. I'm the head baseball coach at Marshall High School in Falls Church, Virginia. Um, talk a little bit about last season. We finished 7 and 13. We had uh, we lost in the regional opener against Langley, one nothing. Gave up a home run in the uh, bottom of the seventh. Great game. We had uh, two pitchers. I think it hasn't happened in a while. Gave a complete seven innings. So that was a pretty intense, fun game. Um, it was our first year back into Division Six with the um, with our Marshall. For the past, uh, I think it was eight years, we were uh, Division Five in the um, Capital National Conference. So we um, progressed, you know, the competition is a little better up in Liberty, which is exciting. It was something that um, when uh, Coach Tarr and I took over Marshall back in 2013, you know, we really wanted to be back in the Liberty and uh, stay at that level of competition. So off season's been good. We've uh, been running off season weightlifting since uh, early September. We've had great turnouts. We started uh, our lifting sessions in the uh, fall. You know, we uh, were, pro we're not the primary um, we don't get the first uh, dibs on the weight room, so we ended up lifting uh, six to seven in the morning. I was like, geez, man, that's early. I'm not going to get any kids. And I actually ended up getting about 25, 28 kids in the morning, which was impressive. Um, I was really surprised that kids can actually get up that early. Um, it's a struggle for me to get up that early. But so once uh, the football season ended, I got on board and said, hey, we're going to go in the afternoon. And you know, a lot of these baseball kids, or the older ones, are already working out at the uh, private uh, baseball facility. So, it's like, what are you guys doing? But anyhow, so it's been real good. We've had a lot of uh, participation. Our kids have gotten bigger and stronger, and that was one of our big uh, focuses of the off season. Uh, this year, we uh, we're returning, um, we're returning a lot of our starting lineup from last year. We had a. Uh, eight sophomores and a freshman who uh, had significant time for us last year, and they're all returning. We've got um, all five of our pitchers returning. You know, we had four starters and a fifth one that was used, we used as a uh, closer a little bit. So they've all gotten a lot bigger. They're getting some notoriety, you know, for whatever it's worth from some of the baseball scouting companies. Um, uh, you know, what I'm excited about is one of our, uh, our sophomore, Nathan Lake, he's uh, you know, he ended up going four and one as a uh, freshman in the varsity. Um, you know, he's got a great feel for command. Uh, he's real smooth with his motion. He's put on about 30 pounds and grown a couple inches. So uh, he's an impressive young man. I got uh, another lefty, Vin Salvo, who throws really hard. You know, bulldog type of kid. You know, his freshman season, I brought him in. You know, to help finish out a game. And you know, I was getting ready to talk to him, and he's like, "Let's go!" And just grabbed the ball. And I was like. Hold on a second. Let me just talk to you. So it's exciting. Uh, Nick Robinson's a senior. He's going to be one of our uh, aces on the staff. Um, great kid. He's been up there for three years on varsity. Uh, Noah Grossman's been pitching for us. He's going to be a real good kid for us, too. So um, our return here, we got Owen Growney coming back. He's going to be our third baseman. He was a second team all district last year. Great kid, great character kid, you know, um, super kid. So it's great to have on the team. Let me see. We got most. We uh, this will be first year in a few years. I don't have any uh, sophomores or freshmen on me, other than Nathan Lake up there on varsity. So we're gonna have a lot of experience. A lot of guys returning. Like I said, um, you know, a lot of these kids were on the varsity last year. Uh, we only have uh, two outfielders and a third baseman that uh, that graduated last year. So um, we should be able to fill those spots, and you know, it's exciting. So. Uh, this year's schedule, it's going to be a really good schedule for us. The competition's going to be uh, excellent. We uh, open with Edison, and uh, then we got uh, Madison Friday night, South Lakes Monday, and then Herndon the following, that next Tuesday. So uh, we're, we're hopping in. It's going to be great. You know, you want to be the best, you got to play the best. Um, you know, I know South Lakes and Herndon were in a you know, regional championship, and I know Herndon finished a runner up last year. And of course, you know, Madison's Madison, they do what they do. So. Um, it's going to be exciting. And, you know, our spring break trip, uh, we're going to stick here locally. Uh, Rob Haney has uh, put a little 
spring break tournament together will be at the new Patriot Park and then over at the Capital One Arena in Tyson. So uh, we're getting Hayfield, who uh, was, was strong last year. And we get Westfield, Lake Braddock, Chantilly. Uh, so obviously, you know, those are all solid programs that have won plenty in the past few years. So it's exciting. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. The expectations for Marshall baseball is, uh, you know, I think we struggled a little bit last year with uh, the competition level coming from the National District 5A going up to the Liberty 6A. Um, so it's going to be exciting. I think we learned how to compete at that level a little bit last year. Um, and, you know, like I said, we're returning a lot of guys, and I think it's going to be a big year for us. Competition, uh, you know, it's, it's very competitive in our uh, district. You know, McLean's going to be good. Langley's going to be a lot better. You know, WNL was real young last year. Wakefield was real young last year. So, and of course, Herndon is defending region champs. So, it's going to be real good this year for us. And I look forward to it. Coach Bob Duncan from Game Day Magazine. Thanks for coming out today, and uh, good luck to you guys on uh, a great season coming up here. You mentioned that you had a, a fairly young team last year, got a lot of returning starters, and uh, you're kind of jumping into the deep end of the pool right there at the beginning of your schedule with some of the big heavy hitters in the in in the in the area. Um, so, talk to me a little bit about uh, what what success looks like for you guys uh, come at the end of the season. What what's kind of goals do you have for your for you guys? Uh, well, my goals are always to uh, win, right? Um, on the baseball field, you know, I, I want to, we want to win districts, we want to win regions, we want to win states. Um, you know, looking back when we get done, obviously, you know, be competitive, um, play at a high level, execute. Um, you know, one thing I know as a team, statistically, we need to cut down some strikeouts and, you know, be solid in the infield. So uh, my expectation is to compete, um, you know, till the last day of the season. Coach, this is a. I'm going to ask you a question that I have not asked a coach before, but I'm really curious myself. Do you find that uh, in today's environment, where the kids are getting so much coaching from third parties, so to speak, are you finding any conflicts in working with the kids and addressing the habits that they they build up uh, on their outside coaching? I do. I want to be careful because I know a lot of these guys that run these uh, programs, um, and I think they do a really good job. Um, I, my issue sometimes is, you know, when you're training inside a gym facility, sometimes you don't get the feel for a real baseball, and there's some things that you can't replicate inside that ha that transfers over to a game. Um, you know, like pitchers, right? They're not practicing PFPs. Yet these facilities right they're, they're learning how to throw hard and things like that so and you know I have had some issues with some kids saying hey I'm going to uh, I got a workout schedule tonight can I leave early hey I'm working out with them is it okay if I lift with them and uh, you know I tell them you know high school baseball is the pinnacle of amateur baseball right you know no, nobody puts the effort and time in to summer baseball travel baseball off-season baseball like you would for the season, right? This is where it accumulates for all the players. They want to be a part of this. These are the guys they grew up with, right? This is their identity. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things I preach is like, this is this is what we're playing for, you know, this high school season. So there are some issues with it, um, but it's, you know, it's somewhat good because they're getting extra training, you know, they're getting focused training. We just got to make sure when they come out, right? We've been doing this for a while. You know, our, my other coach has been doing this for a while. We know what we're talking about, you know, so there's a little give and take. One of the things uh, my pitching coach, uh, associate head coach Jason McMahon, has been around a long time. You know, his thing is like, oh, I'm not going to try to change fundamentals too much, right? But we're going to work on hitting the strike zone, hitting spots, and things like that. So obviously, you know, one thing I think about is um, if these guys aren't performing, you know, if they're not having quality at bats consistently. Maybe I'll start tweaking with their swing, but for the most part, you know, if they're swinging well, making good contact, we're not going to mess with fundamentals too much. So, Coach Rich Kelsey with the Loudon South Baseball Report. I, I kind of picked this up as a fun thing following the teams of Loudon South. I used to coach in Loudon South, um, ran some travel programs. I've actually coached a lot of games on your field. Yes. Um, but I had, didn't know much about your program until last year because I started following more teams in Northern Virginia, and a lot of them wound up playing your team. I actually was very impressed by your team because of its youth. 
uh, and the way it competed against uh, these teams. It's one thing to move up a class. It's another thing to do it with a very young team. So I think I'm very optimistic and bullish on, on what you're talking about here. But I think you hit a great point, which I think is, uh, I, if I can get you to expand on a little bit more, because this is something I always taught. There's a big difference between what I call lab work. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of pitchers uh, who look like they are going to be D1 superstars when they throw off a mound in beautiful conditions inside without a hitter in the box versus the opportunity to play real baseball against tough competition. And that's what a lot of your young guys did last year yes. and took some lumps. So if you could take a little time to talk about kind of the difference between lab work, which has its purpose and is good, versus real baseball on the mound in the in the 38 degrees with some snow right. falling under pressure with toes on the line in the box can you talk a little bit about that absolutely so one thing that you get from playing in the regular season and you know practicing together is you get competition right everybody wants to be a starter and there's only nine spots to start so there's a competition thing that's missing from the inside training the uh, specific training you know it's easy to get up on the mound as you said to throw and, and throw hard but once it counts once it matters right that there's a mentality a mindset that you have to work on and it's it's something you know they talk about it they work on it but it's a lot different when there's uh you know the same person you're facing is trying to beat you right um so that's one thing that's huge, um, and one thing I preach about with my guys, right? We got to be mentally tough and expect to win. And you know, those opportunities in practice, we're we're really trying to compete hard against each other, right? And it's hard to get that competition when you're inside swinging off a, um, you know, on the hit tracks or something like that. You know, those guys want to see how far they can hit it, all that stuff, exit velo, spin rate, and uh, the bottom line is, you know, that stuff really doesn't matter when it comes to the game. Right. If you throw a good curveball and put it in the right spot, that's perfect. Right. I don't, I don't care what your spin rate is during the game. You know, throw hard. Sometimes that doesn't make you a great pitcher. Right. Hitting your spots. You know, my uh, the, the uh, Nathan Lake, who will be a sophomore this year as a freshman. You know, he didn't break 80 miles per hour, but he was darn good. You know, darn good. And so I know a lot of those metrics are what college coaches are looking at and pro scouts are looking at. But you know the metrics that matter to me is do you compete? Can you win when when it's under pressure? And uh, you know, bottom line is like we want to have a good experience, but we want to compete and we want to win. So obviously there is a difference, and you know, Thanks, you're welcome. Coach, one uh, final question for you. Uh, you talked about moving up to class six from class five, and, and the uh, the level of competition that that you've seen here in in the new the new region that you're in. Uh, how would you describe, or, or can you describe, how the quality of baseball here in Northern Virginia has ch changed over the last several years that you've been coaching? Certainly. Um, well, I started coaching with John Thomas at McLean back in uh, 2008, and uh, I was very fortunate to be a part of that. They had a, one of the best teams that I've been around. You know, they were ranked number two in the Washington Post going into postseason, and you know they had phenomenal players. Um, so that was, you know, always something. Uh, when I joined coaching, that's what I was used to the scene. But even back then, you know, we were with uh, and that it was the old Liberty when Stowbridge and Madison was in it. Uh, competition was really, really good. But on a, on a whole, I would say yes. There, the competition in Virginia has certainly uh, improved over the past 10, 15 years since I've been here. Um, the one thing I've noticed about it is that there's a. Uh, Obviously, the more fluent areas in this area, you know, the parents can afford to put their kids into different programs and different teams, um, and there are some benefit to that. You know, I always tell my kids at the end of the season, you know, it's more important that you play baseball than where you play baseball, right? I tell them, go play American Legion baseball, right? You don't have to spend all summer traveling, right? If you got a Babe Ruth opportunity, play it. I don't, I don't personally care where you play or what level you play, but it's more important that you play. So I think the expansion of the baseball has certainly helped. Um, with the competition around here. And on the, on the other side, right, there are schools that have different demographics, different affluency, and they don't have the same ability to put their kids in those schools or those programs and travel as much, which hurts them at, you know, come springtime for high school baseball. Coach, my first coach was my father, like for, for most of us. Yes. And uh, he taught me the game of baseball 
because he really loved the game of baseball. I spent one year, one season coaching JB, and I wasn't asked to come back, and it might have been because I had one meetings with the kids, and I said, guys, you think you know how to play this game. You do not. You've got a heck of a lot to learn. How, how, are you, how do you feel the, the, the sort of the knowledge of the game as a whole is with today's players? Well, so um, I, uh, I also coach high school football. Um, so I'm, I coach a lot throughout the year. Uh, I've been doing high school football and high school baseball for 16 years. And um, an example, right, I had a coach that said, hey, I want to transfer. I want to coach defensive line instead of this. But I don't know anything about it. I said, do you know football? He says, yeah. I said, then, I said do you know how to coach football? He says, yeah. I said, then you can coach defensive line, right? Baseball is similar. I've, had, I've got a few new coaches, young coaches on my staff, and they're worried about being able to, uh, you know, be good coaches. And I said, you guys know more than these kids know already, right? So whatever experience you had is more than they have. I don't think there's always a process of learning, right? Nobody grows up knowing everything. And I think that's uh, true with, with the younger players coming up. Some of them think they do, but um, the truth is they don't, right? You know, we always, we get to an age where we think we know everything, and especially with me as a, a head coach now, I thought I knew everything as an assistant, and the longer I'm a head coach, I'm like, geez, there's a lot of things I don't know. So um, there's a lot to learn uh, uh, for everybody, and I think that's part of being a good player, good teammate, good coach is, having some humility in part of it and, you know, believing that I need to get better every day and put the work in and learn from what my coaches have to say, right? You can see him at BP and like, hey, you know, if you, keep, if you keep trying to hit home runs in BP, you're going to have a bad swing, right? And they get in the game and they take some hell hacks. And I said, just try to drive it oppo. Coach, it worked. Amazing, huh? Amazing. So, um, yeah, that's the big thing. We got to get them to, to believe in me and believe in my staff that we are, you know, we're quality coaches. We understand what we're talking about and get them to buy in and follow what we have to say. So, Coach, I want to thank you for coming here today. Good luck to you guys this year. We'll be following you. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate the opportunity. This presentation of Game Day Baseball Media Day has been brought to you by the Ballpark Loudon. The newest home for baseball training, team parties, and corporate events in Loudoun County, Virginia. Come live the experience. To watch more of Game Day Baseball Media Day, visit the Game Day Nation Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash game day broadcast and on Twitter at, at GBN Mobile.